shame never again. Joel chapter 2, verses 26 and 27. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. It is interesting that in these two verses, God repeats. He states something twice. He says, my people shall never be put to shame. That means he's reinforcing this. He's reaffirming this. Uh, and is expressing the desire of his heart for his people, that God will not let his people be put to shame. And you know the context there in Joel chapter 2, while Joel, Joel is talking about judgment and, and how God, when we pray uh, that God uh, withholds that and instead of judgment there is mercy, but it also has to do with material things, with our day-to-day -day things in life. God says right there in verse 26, you will eat in plenty and be satisfied. That means you're going to have sufficient, you're going to have all that you need and more, and you will praise the name of the Lord God who has dealt so bountifully, he has blessed you so much. And God says, look, I am there in your midst. I am the Lord in the midst of Israel. And he says, all of this I will do for you so that my people shall never be put to shame. That means God is going to so touch the lives of his people. He's going to so touch our lives that the, 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 the ordinary things, the mundane things, if you will, things that are having to do with eating and, and our living here on earth, he will so touch our lives, our existence, that we will know that the Lord God is in our midst and that we are his people and we his people will never be put to shame. I want you to take a hold of that word. Now, why is that important? Because as we journey through life, we may go through circumstances and situations, like we said at the beginning of this week, where uh, sometimes we, are hum we may be humiliated or there is a possibility of us being put to shame. But in the midst of those circumstances, in the midst of those situations, we need to take a hold of God's word. Go before God and say, God, I am yours. You are in my midst and you are the God who said that you, are, you will so bless your people that they will eat in plenty and be satisfied and that we will praise the name of the Lord our God and who, is, who deals so wonderfully with us and we will not be put to shame. You go to God with, based on his word and you declare his word over your circumstances. You declare his word over the situations that threaten to humiliate you and shame you and harm you uh, and cause you to hang your head low. You speak his word and say, my God said, my people will never be put to shame. Shame, never again, because the Lord God is in your midst and you are his, and he will deal wondrously with you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for expressing your heart for your people, God, that you will deal so bountifully, so wondrously with your people, so that, God, we will eat in plenty and be satisfied, and we will praise the Lord our God, who is in our midst, so that we will never be put to shame. And God, I release this blessing, I release this word on those listening, God, that know that we will know in our hearts that you are on our side, you are for us, and you have announced, you have declared, my people shall never be put to shame. We thank you for declaring that over our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.